What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another cooking video. Today we're gonna to be making some chicken quesadillas. This is a super easy recipe. All you're gonna need is cheese, chicken, quesadilla packets, and your choice of seasonings. So we went ahead with a little bit of olive oil, put it in a skillet, you could also use a frying pan. We're gonna cook one side of the chicken here. I did put some black pepper on top. Then whenever it's white, you're gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna add some more black pepper to that. Then as it's cooking throughout, I went ahead and I did separate the chicken a little bit, basically flattened them, cut them up, not in smaller chunks yet. But now we're adding some garlic plus. You can add your own seasoning, but I like garlic plus from Costco. So I'm gonna hit it with that. I went ahead and I did shred the cheese already, super easy. And then what you're gonna to want to do with your tongs or spatula, you're gonna separate the chicken even more once it's fully cooked, and you're gonna make it into smaller pieces to put in the quesadilla. Now you're gonna add your quesadilla packets and you're gonna read the back for your packet to see what it says. But for this one here, it's a quarter cup of water, so I'm gonna add that. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of the shredded cheese. This is gonna help make everything combined and make the sauce even more gooier and tastier, but it's also gonna help thicken the sauce even more. So we're gonna head, put that on, let it melt a little bit, and then with the tongs, I'm gonna to start mixing it up as you can see now. So we're just gonna mix it, getting that sauce nice and thick. The chicken's already fully cooked, so this is almost ready, but you don't want it too runny to put in the quesadilla because it's just gonna make a mess whenever you do put it on the frying pan to fry it or a panini press. So you're gonna want to make sure the sauce is a little bit thicker and actually sticking it to the chicken, which is why I add the cheese when I did. So now we're going to be assembling the quesadilla next. Once everything's fully cooked with your shredded cheese, you're just gonna take a tortilla, you're gonna put parchment paper down first, and I'm gonna be using a panini press. You can use a frying pan if you do have that, but we're gonna be using a panini press so it grills both sides at the same time. It makes it easier for me. So on one half, you're going to put some of the chicken mixture. You're not gonna to want to put too much that it, it overfills because it will start to leak out, but you're gonna put a decent amount on one half. Then on top, you're going to put some more shredded cheese. I usually do a lot of shredded cheese on mine just because I like how cheesy it tastes, but you can do whatever kind of cheese you want. You can do however much or however little you want. Uh, you can also make this other ways as well. You can put veggies if you want, but whenever it's done, you're gonna fold it up just like this, and that's why you only put on one half. And then you're gonna take your parchment paper, whenever your panini press is ready, you're going to put it right on the panini press, and it's gonna to start to grill both sides. So once it is done, you're gonna lift it up, and you're gonna know it's done whenever it has those nice grill marks. So now you're gonna slide it off, and with a sharp knife, you're gonna cut this into triangle wedges. So I have the sharp knife here, this is really easy to do. And you just cut it right down like that and it should be really easy to cut. If it's crispy enough, it'll just go right through and you won't have any issues. So we're gonna cut this in little triangles. Then we're going to plate it and you can eat it however you like. You can have salsa with it, you can have sour cream with it, you can have hot sauce with it. I'm gonna plate it like you see here, nice and neat. One thing I like is a new blueberry hot sauce, so we'll put sour cream on it, and then I'll put that blueberry hot sauce, sometimes even sriracha, and I'm gonna be pairing mine with a nice Pepsi Zero. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoy these cooking videos on my channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Please take care, peace.